Bison Laredo 8310 here at Halo Horse Trailers of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, eight foot wide, seven six tall, all aluminum construction. So this is uh, good sized and made to last a long time. Um, it has a 10 foot short wall living quarters, central air, uh, you know, heater, double battery, uh, double propane, all that good stuff you really want. Um, with a lot of extra niceties included as well, like LED lighting inside. Uh, we have a, a big patio awning, power uh, uh, push button operated awning on the other side there with LED light stripping. This is, uh, again, three horse. Now we do have the front escape door here, but all three uh, stalls, including the escape door, have easy operational drop down windows with the face gates there so your horse doesn't necessarily stick their head out into a dangerous situation going down the road. This does have mangers so we do have storage below the mangers down here and again all aluminum construction and you can see that weld running all the way down and that's what I like about these there aren't a lot of partial welds everything is almost exclusively fully welded. There you go. That's kind of a compression latch, by the way. It's not a slam latch. I forgot that, obviously, when I flipped it around the first time. All aluminum wheels there, so everything looks nice and sharp, and you're not going to have to worry about your trailer's wheels rusting and pitting over time. Um, the uh, rear tack here can be collapsed, folded down, removed. It also has a telescoping saddle tree, so you can flip that out to you if need be. <sighs> Pardon me, a little chilly out today. Um, we have extruded heavy duty interlocking plank flooring so you can put some very large animals in here that do carry some big weight. Let me step inside. Uh, we have one hand uh, slam lamp operation here. So you can see that even with just one hand how easily you can manipulate these stalls. All three butt side windows do open for ventilation so your horses can breathe in here. But uh, notice how well this is finished off. What you can't see is all the cross members and gusseting and, and uh, extra structure up there that is designed if this trailer ever had just a catastrophic accident. Uh, it's basically designed to be able to set upside down and maintain its structure. Hope you never, ever, ever have to try that. Now you see the front stall here, we do have the stud curtain. Um, and I mean, just look at the, the I, I don't know, the beefiness of these, these welds and uh, these dividers, these are heavy duty. I mean, it's, you know, again, fully welded. You see how it's not just side welded, but uh, even the, uh, the L junction there, everything is really heavy duty welded in here. These things are really made to take exceptional amounts of use and abuse and continue to perform over time. Uh, we do have a pass-through door here that leads to the full bathroom, which is another very nice part of these uh, 8310 Laredos. Now, we have upgraded fixtures. We have a porcelain stool, not a plastic stool. And check out how large the storage is behind the stool. To give you an idea, your, your arm goes almost all the way in up to the elbow in there. And they do have uh, both a shelf and a hanging storage uh, rack up there. So you can have just a lot of storage space. Now, because this is seven six tall, you will not have to worry about bumping your head up here in the shower. To give you an idea, I'm 6'3 with my shoes on, standing in the shower. Absolutely no problems with like headroom clearance up here. Plenty of room. Um, I love this new flooring they're using in here. It's that wood plank look stuff. Man, I think that is sharp. I like that. I like being able to see wood grains and knots and knobs. I like stuff like that. I like to know that it's real, you know. Um, the uh, sink here is also a pretty good size. So if you come in from outside, you need to wash up before dinner, you can actually wash your hands in this sink. And they give you a good size medicine cabinet. So all of your toothbrush and toothpaste and shavers and stuff, they're not just gonna lay around cluttered and looking like crap in your nice new trailer. I also like that you only have one or two light switches for each room, which is very residential if you think about it. That's how you have your house, why not your trailer? And look at this thing. You know, the, we, we built this one with affordability in mind, but you still get a really nice look out of this woodwork. It has a very sharp eye appeal to it. Um, we also, again, uh, I want to re-mention central air conditioning, which a lot of living quarters and a 10-foot short wall are not going to have. If you don't have central air, then your gooseneck bunk in your bathroom are going to be a little extra toasty. Um, right here, we have either a pantry or bonus hanging storage. And check out how this goes from floor to ceiling. 
that is extra large or maybe from ceiling to floor uh, and you know as it were the way that I put this video together here I like the little touches just the uh, the little embroidering and whatnot here and there um, the uh, cabinet doors all hardwood cabinet doors because again this is made for use this is made for going out and using it. it's not made for just looking good it's made for using well too by the way there is a folding table um, under the mattress here for your uh, your uh, sofa so if you know you do want to sit down somewhere and have breakfast you can do that um, all LED lights again so you do uh, you don't have to worry about replacing incandescent bulbs all the time you have extra shirt wardrobe closet space on both sides of the bed up here um, you can see the big um, entertainment uh, TV RCA cable right here this is made uh, just perfect for a big TV but what's nice is if you're just looking for something a little more simple um, your stereo can be either way this this could be just a simple stereo or that you could use this as your DVD player it's all in one it does both it's even your alarm clock if you need it I think it might even have a like an emergency weather band thing on there easy access to your awning controls right here just one button in one button out and a coat closet uh, right next to the door, uh, well pardon me, that could easily be converted to a coat closet next to the door, but you do have extra space for shelving right there, um, boots, hats, stuff like that. And I like the little cutaway recess they're putting in here just to give shorter cow folk the uh, you know, easier methods up and down. Um, <clears throat> another feature I really like on these, battery disconnect. You just saw it go dark right there. You don't have to worry about all these modern electronics slowly sapping your battery over time. And as long as we're sitting right here, I want to hop outside for something real quick. Take a look at the full LED light strip under this awning right here. It runs the entire length. Now what's really neat is against this white skin right here, all this light is going to shine in directly and just give you a nice glowing patio at night. So you're going to have a, a, a good, healthy, uh, I don't know what, roughly 20 foot of shady patio space here. If the sun's beating down on you, you got a nice spot to just sit there and take in a breeze. Um, you know, especially if you're at a, if you're say at an event where you don't have power to hook up so you can't run your AC. But you've got 12 volt, you got your stereo playing there, you got your lights going. You're going to have a really good time in this one. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. Halitz Horse Trailers of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe. Happy trails, everybody.